when you make a plan to attack you must make a list of your weaknesses and possible threats and then after take your advantage into the count white is 5 point down in the game white queen is easily pinned by the rook to e3 with the support of pawn and white have a bad pawn structure if black try to take the rook with the rook it's a simple exchange and we don't count as a weakness now despite black is 5 point up in the game black's king is not in a comfortable position king is not properly defended so taking all this into the count try to take the pawn on h6 with the rook if black takes the rook queen to f6 check only move for the king is h7 rook to h1 check and now king to g8 is the only move and you can easily guess mate in one from here let's go back to the original position when rook takes the pawn on h6 let's see what if rook pin the queen rook takes the rook and our both rook is under attack if king takes the rook queen to f6 check king to h7 f7 check king have a two option h6 or h8 if king goes to the h6 then take the rook into the attack by rook to e6 check because of this pawn blockage king can't survive much if king goes to the g5 queen to g7 check queen blocks and queen takes a queen is checkmate and after rook to e6 if queen blocks queen takes the queen is immediate checkmate so pinning the queen is not working again go back to the original position when rook take the pawn now from here let's try to find the best move for the black black can put attack on the rook by moving its rook to the d6 h6 takes on the d6 e8 takes on the e1 then there is a still mate in 3 pause the video and try to find the mate in 3 from here if you want to know the answer about mate in 3 check out the description box back to rook to h6 position if h6 takes on the d6 and pawn takes on the d6 then e1 takes on the e8 and white is one point up in the game and thanks for watching if you like the video press the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more such chess analysis content